Welcome to the Transparent FX Academy. I'm Nick, and I'm a top author on trading with over 190k reputation points. And in this video, I will try to understand where we have the highest probabilities for a potential move on this pair. Now, how will I be doing that? As usual, first I will be covering the technical aspect of the pair, then we will go and see what we have when it comes to the commitment of traders, which is the COT data, so what the non-commercials and the biggest hedge funds and speculators in the market are doing. So without wasting any more time, let's jump straight to the charts. In today's video, I want to speak about CHF JPY. Now, why do I want to speak about CHF JPY? Because at the moment, we do have quite interesting price action and structure. So let's get straight into it. Starting here from the monthly, what we can see is that at the moment, the market seems very overextended to the upside. In fact, it is quite some time. In fact, it is four months that we haven't seen any correction from a monthly perspective, any red candle. And this is the last time that we had the correction before this massive impulse to the upside started. So from here, what we could expect is a correction to potentially start. Now, why exactly from here? Because we still have nine days to go before this monthly candle will close. And if we look left, we can see that we have the previous high, which is currently here. So there is a good probability that sellers could try to protect this resistance zone by not making the monthly candle close above the area, but actually starting to short and making this monthly candle close below this previous high. Dropping down on the weekly time frame, what we can notice. Now, from a weekly perspective, we can notice how the market has just completed this impulse correction and impulse pattern to the upside. Now, after the completion of an impulse correction impulse, you expect another correction before then more potential continuation, indicating that also here on the weekly, the market seems overextended to the upside and also here in need of a correction. We can also take our Fibonacci on the previous leg. Now, in this case, it would be from this low to this high. If we do that, we can see that at the moment we are in between the minus 27 and minus 0.618 of the Fibonacci taken on the previous leg. And usually in a situation like this, since we now got a confirmed close above the minus 27 from a weekly perspective, we could expect a retest of the minus 27 now acting as support before then a rejection to the upside to the minus 0.618. This is a very common pattern in the market, bouncing away from Fibonacci levels. Now, if we go down the daily time frame, what we can notice from a daily perspective, also here, we can notice how we just completed this impulse correction and impulse pattern to the upside. However, at the same time, we can notice how the market had printed this overextended W formation. Now, and actually has printed this overextended W formation. Now, as I said many times, after the creation of an overextended W, what we expect is the market to provide a correction. Now, the first target for a correction would be the 0.32 Fibonacci taken on the impulse. In this case, the impulse would be from this low to this high. And if we take our Fibonacci from the low to this high, we can also notice how the 0.32 and 50% Fibonacci retracements are currently lining up perfectly with the previous resistance turn support, creating a very strong layer of support and demand here that we could expect the market to test and then to potentially reject to the upside. Now, if we go and see what we have when it comes to the commitment of traders, so the COT data, which is what the non-commercials, so the biggest speculators in the market are doing, and we check the data for the CHF, we can see how with the last reports, we went from minus 20K to minus 6.8K net positions with 1.6K longs added with the last report and 7.6K shorts getting closed, making the CHF quite strong. However, we are still in negative territory with more than double the shorts compared to the lungs. We have 11K shorts compared to only 4.2K lungs. If we go and see what we have on the GPY, we went from minus 110K to minus 69K with 13.9K lungs added with the last report and 7.9K shorts getting closed. And even though net positions have increased so much, we haven't seen anything reflected in the actual price action because the strength of the GPY still hasn't been priced in, meaning that this rejection to the downside definitely looks like a possibility. So 
how we could be approaching this potential move to the downside. As usual, trading is reactive and not productive. The monthly, weekly, and daily combined with the suit data, those are the best time frames from a directional perspective. However, when it comes to confirmations and entries, the best time frames are the intraday time frames, so for our and lower. Therefore, what we could be doing is monitoring price action from an intraday perspective during this move to the upside, waiting for the market to shift from an intraday bullish market as we would have to an intraday bearish market. And if the market would shift from an intraday bullish to bearish market, and provide to us one of our valid entries at that point we could be looking for this potential rejection to the downside and for the market to retrace at least to the 0.382 of the fibonacci taken on this daily impulse now if you do know what i'm speaking about when i say shift of market environment and valid entries that is all part of the mentorship program which you can now access completely for free the link is in the description and i really suggest that you go and check it out also, if you enjoyed the video, make sure that you smash that like and comment below. It really does support the creation of more free analysis education and updates for all of you because obviously it helps with the YouTube algorithm. And I will see you in my next video.